All right, Talos, Telos, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And this is our controlled fragmentation ammunition and 38 special plus P and nine millimeter plus P. I had to kind of tear off the insides of these uh, boxes because the way they list this stuff is kind of interesting. But with our 38 special, what we're listed as is a 105 grain average bullet weight at 1170 FP. I'm guessing FPS. And with our nine millimeter, 1210 FPS, 92 grain average. So interesting there that that would technically mean that I think that the 38 is supposed to be more powerful. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm going to do my full size guns and my subcompact gun test. So we got our four inch barrel Smith and Wesson 686. It's actually four and an eighth. And I'm going to compare that to my two inch Taurus 605. And then I have my five inch MMP nine and my 3.2 inch um taurus g2c so it should be an interesting test i have absolutely no idea what to expect with ammunition like this they are just they're solid copper from what i understand so we're gonna see what we get so i'm gonna go through the uh, chronograph see what kind of velocity and accuracy i get at the same time then i'm gonna do my 10 percent clear ballistic test we have four layers of denim followed by three inches of clear ballistics to represent hitting a pectoral muscle followed by a quarter inch mdf to represent hitting ribs or sternum or a chest shot into more clear ballistics because i'm going to be putting four rounds through this mdf i'm not going to do our gut shot which would mean removing this mdf we're just going to go through this stuff and that's really what i would rather see anyways because i need to know you know how it's gonna you know do against something a little bit harder like if it were hit a rib and then i'm gonna shoot from 25 yards today just to kind of see what kind of practical accuracy we can get so let's get started with this test all right first up we have our 38 special it's 105 grain rated at 1170 feet per second so let's see what i get through my four and a quarter inch smith and wesson 686 About 35, nice. No read. 1194. 1211. No read. I'll take those three readings there. And what we got was pretty good. Now let's try our two inch Taurus 605. 1092. 1152. 1134, no read, 1077, so pretty good velocity out of a snub for a 38 special. Let's see how our 9mm compares. All right, 9mm, 92 grain at 12, 10 feet per second is our rating. Let's see what we get in our 5 inch MP here. 1252, 1261. 1269, 1262, 1243. And what I can say is our energy is going to be similar, but this had a lot less felt recoil. So let's move on to our 3.2 inch here. See how it does. 1193, 1191-1187-1186. 1199 very consistent velocities out of this pistol and pretty low recoil as well so let's our ballistics gel blocks see what we get with these rounds all right first up we have our 38 special through our four inch barrel let's see what this will do all right let's try our two inch barrel all right two inch barrel <laughs> All right, so interesting here with our four inch barrel, it got a lot of damage with our two inch barrel, not so much. I found these little fragment pieces up here. And I think that's after they hit the MDF with one of these shots. I'm not sure which one, but I'm guessing the two inch because I see fragments in there. And another thing that happened is this MDF, it absolutely just destroyed it. And we have fragments back up against the MDF here 
um, with our, let's see what one this would be, that would be our four inch barrel. So that does a lot of damage right away. That is quite the impressive looking thing with all that damage it's getting. So what we're looking at with our four inch barrel, it was right at 12 inches, just within our minimum. And we have just a core here with our two inch barrel or at 15 and a half. So we actually have somewhat adequate penetration. Let's try our nine millimeter and see what that does. Nine millimeter, five inch barrel. Now this does. Let's try our 3.2 inch. 3.2 inch barrel. Let's go take a look. So that's very interesting here. Uh, before I look in here at this, I just want to see this again. And this is just absolutely insanity. We have little fragments coming through. I'm not even going to keep these and show the projectiles because, well, I might show them, but I'm not really going to measure them. This is just a massive surgeon's nightmare type thing there. Ouch. <laughs> There's just stuff everywhere here. Um, there's more fragments up here and they're big fragments. They're not little fragments. They're not dust. They're actual claws of copper um, Just all over the place here. There's probably five six seven of them right here Just all over the place here So what we're looking at for penetration with our five inch barrel is we have just a core and we're at nine and a half inches with our with our uh, 3.2 inch we're at 10 inches so interesting there that the nine millimeter pretty much failed but the 38 special did okay and that kind of makes sense you know uh we were 13 grains lighter so that's just enough bullet weight that it's going to reduce that penetration so what i'm saying seeing here is yeah 38 okay nine millimeter not so much so uh, let's shoot from that 25 yards, see what kind of practical accuracy we can get. All right, 25 yards from the target, 38 special, and our four inch barrel. Let's see how this does for me. Very, very center mass, very point of aim. Let me try a headshot. Just shooting a little bit to the uh, left for me. Now, try our 38 special and our two inch. All right, let me go for a headshot. All right, a little bit off, but at least I hit steel. Let's try the nine millimeter. Nine millimeter, five inch barrel. See how it does. Very easy to shoot, super low recoil. Let me go for a headshot. All right. Now well, let's move on to our 3.2 inch. Same drill there. For a headshot if I can. Alright, so I missed one there. But I don't shoot this pistol very good, so. What we're seeing here, and I don't really have to explain it too much, is, well, none of this really looks that good. I would much rather have a traditional cup and core uh, bullet that's a hollow point and all of that. What we're seeing is the 38 Special, just that little extra weight was enough to make it perform okay adequately. We got, you know, enough penetration, but, you know, having those, th those pedals shear off isn't necessarily a good thing because what we want in a good bullet is we want to have hollow point pedals 
to shear out. And the whole point behind like bonded bullets and stuff like that is that we keep that core inside that jacket rather than that core coming out because we want that core to pull those jagged expanded petals through the material. This is like a cup and core that is not bonded, but worse because they're just busting off and falling down and only that little itty bitty center is going through. Now we got adequate penetration, but I can't really, you know, with clear conscience say that's a good round to use for self-defense. And with our nine millimeter, that effect was even greater because of being a lighter bullet weight. So I would definitely not recommend this ammunition to each his own. It was very low recoil. One of the lowest I've ever ha felt in a nine millimeter, but I personally would not use it for self-defense. So that's, that's my opinion on that. That's what you get today. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.